Filler. So, hello everyone, my name is Blake Lohan, episode 130, which is starting the filler arc, right? And uh, if you give me some anime filler tattoo, no, but so I hope it's gonna make a canon filler, right? That's what it said. And of course, I've seen my share of fillers, right? You know, I've seen all of Naruto. <laughs> and I would say that the interesting is I actually watched Naruto weekly. You know, because I'm an old guy, I watched Naruto weekly when I was airing. I read the manga too, but I watched the anime weekly every damn filler episode. So I know my, my short and finish. But I think that, you know, this is a filter are good, right? For example, Navarone one piece of classic filler, right? I think most bleach fillers are pretty good, right? Most bleach arcs. But I think, I think the strength of my filler, or how to make it good, is generally to make the filler be, uh, how to say it, one arc, right? Like I said, I have 10 episodes of fillers, and those are all one, you know, main story. We fight things on bad guys, some new powers. That's good and interesting, right? That can be really fun and so on. Uh, or it can be like, like all very comedic. But uh, I think the weakness of fillers are like a narrative when they made, you know, had like more than 100 episodes, right? But for a while in narrative in the beginning, it was kind of like five episode filler, five episode filler arc, right? And that kind of worked. It was like, you know, a bit there, a bit there, yeah. Sort of stories. But after a while in narrative, because it's the best happen of bad feelings, right? They just kept using like one episode. Okay, it's like uh, Naruto, you know, Futunori, Ino style. And it's like he's gonna be Ino, but he has his stuff left. And pretty funny, right? Okay, next episode is like uh, fake Mouthy guy and fake Rock Lee doing stuff. But then it's like ramen cooking or something, which a bit like Rasengan's or. I mean, it's kind of funny, but it's like every episode is like a standalone filler episode, right? Like filler, 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 filler. And there's no connection between them. It gets quite tedious, right? And you, you can obviously feel like, oh, it's so filled now, I can skip over it, right? Um, I think that's fine for an anime, like in the Clover and so on, where you have, you know, one main arc, right? And one other main arc. And between that, you might have like one or two, like a beach episode or an onsen episode or whatever, probably. You have some kind of comedy fans. That to, that's fine, right? That's fine. But if you do, like, you know, dun 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 dun, just keep being like one standalone, um, uh, yeah, filler episode. Uh, that has no you know, correlation between each other, then it gets really weak, right? It gets really tedious and boring, usually. Uh, and also, I feel that, I guess they're mainly narrative, but One Piece has issues of the two, so much well. It's like, the jokes also get worse, right? Because you can't joke about it overly enough, either. Uh, not a great sample, I feel, is One Piece, actually, where they did, um, there's a part of One Piece, where they do, like, five fillings in a row, but every fifth episode is, like, an extended backstory. So we see that when Sora met Yosuke and Yoni, and so on, right? So that, that is too, when you're like, you know, in canon, like, backstory per character. That can work as a standalone episode. But that was every episode feels, like, very interesting, I guess. Because, like, oh, interesting backstory in this character, so on, yeah. So, it can work, but it can't be just, like, comedic uh, sort of episodes. Uh, I mean, I mean, I, I mean, I guess in theory, you could have this amazing comedy episode, though. I suppose in theory, right? Uh, so that feels really fun, right? So anyway, here in Clover, what I read and someone heard, right, it's going to be like a one storyline um, with, I guess, some new bad guys, them training. My guess is it's going to be probably like the first month or week or whatever, right? And then it's going to time skip probably into with the manga, you know, because the manga, of course, just does it. And of course, you do this filler because obviously anime is quite close to the manga, right? Um, so I'm hoping it is one main arc. That, that, be, that again, my hope, right? That is like no other episode, just one long uh, main stuff. Uh, unless it's like one bitch episode or something. <laughs> one fair service episode. I can live with that. One fair service episode. But anyway, I see the previous, like the captains, this is probably gonna somehow lead into the main new arc, I guess, of Filler Arc. Uh, and it's probably the main like, comedic episode then. Um, so anyway, let's start watching it. So, three, two, one, and go. Um, but yeah, hopefully it's, you know, it, this is probably a comedic episode with the captains, and uh, this might be canon. I don't think this is canon. I feel it's like a common episode with the captains. This is probably not canon. Uh, I mean, like manga canon, not from the manga, right? And then next ep this episode probably leads into some new training storyline arc, right? And then I guess it's gonna be Asta, Noel, some of the other characters like fighting some, uh, you know, doing something new, right? What I don't want to see, I guess, is just like a training arc. I mean, it might work. Like, for example, the narrator, I spot too much of the narrator trains his, you know, his element powers. That's pretty interesting. Which is like, I mean, I, I, I know it's canon, but I mean, like, that's interesting. The training arc is like, they have to master this new ability, and it's really, like, really in detail how it works. 
And of course, Naruto has a lot of training. <laughs> but you know what I mean. That could be really interesting. Um, I think a filler could work like that. For example, when they, went, when they met Melona, right? Obviously, the best woman, Melona. But when they meet Melona, and she's like, this is how you do, you know, mana skin to get over the volcano and so on. If they have Melona or whatever training them, it's like, this is how you learn a better mana zone. And, uh, and it's much more in detail, like, this is how it works, how you improve this stuff. That could be good uh, as, like, a, a training arc. But uh, I think I rather would see, yeah, like, them fighting, you know, this random new enemy. Can I get a match with Blizzard? I think Blizzard had a lot of good parts where they were like, here's a, here's a you know, these new um, Gigas, you're gonna fight them, right? Okay, turn up of that. Here's the weapon betraying you, fight them, so on. That was great in Blizzard, that was great. Whoever Blizzard did that really weird training card. Um, there's a funny feeling in Blitz though, where it's like, episode 3 has something, I don't know, so, but anyway. In Blitz, there is this uh, filler arc, in the middle of a battle. This is super strange, yeah. So they already have been this, like, you know, huge, you know, long arc in Blitz, right? And then suddenly it's like filler. <laughs> and they're like starting episodes, like, they have to take a filler now. And it's like a 20 episode filler in the middle of the storyline. It's not like a, you know, a good cutting. It's just like a filler for no reason. <laughs> but the reason it was good to the manga, but still, it's like, you know, it's like in the middle of fighting, yeah, the div is like filler. <laughs> it's like, and it's like a long filler too, yeah. And then you go back to where it, where it dropped off. It's in the middle of a battle, it's super weird. They feel so out of place when that filler starts, this is crazy. But anyway, this now feels very filler in the beginning, because they're talking about, oh yes, this storyline, and he's the hero of the kingdom. So they're giving vengeance. Okay, we are missing there, if we were to that. Fugulon Sama! Okay, so these people are giving some kind of, yeah, he got a salamander in the recap here. Okay, so no story is charming. <laughs> nothing new with him, it's just like, he's very attractive. <laughs> it's nothing. Yeah, and she's like, where's my army? Everyone else has a torn, so okay. Prick it by the la <laughs> prick it by Lady Salt. Of course, she's angry because Yam is late, yeah, of course she's. Oh, really, it's like. <laughs> he's always spaced out, but more, I guess. It's in love? Interesting. Oh, it's the, oh my god, so he's in love with Dwarf Charmy. Does he remember to that dwarf? Interesting, yeah. And like his, yeah, his butler is like, oh, you can definitely love. Very interesting. Does he remember that she's a dwarf? Or does he remember what happened, really? Oh my god, it's uh, super perky. Oh, here we go. It's Dorothy, she's awake too. Yeah, Minasa, here we go. Yeah, it's like, Minasa, yeah, there we go. Super happy Dorothy. Yeah, and I guess Kaiser is maybe remembers him being evil, I don't know. Let's clean out Julius. Oh, it's a doctor. Yeah, it's a doctor. See, the hair comes the doctor. What's his name again? I can't remember his name, but it's clearly the doctor. Uh, so, the recap now. So, yeah, this is. This definitely fits a little filler-ish now, right? When they kind of recap what happened last arc and uh, so on. But yeah, it's clearly the doctor guy. I can't remember his name now. What the heck guy is? Julius Dana. Yeah. So you're gonna have him dress up as a doctor or as Julius with like bandages on his face. But shouldn't they see not the same hair color? Hasn't even dyed his hair. There's no medical concealing magic. It's just him with some bandages. <laughs> you look different, but it's definitely Julius Dana. <laughs> it's like... Oh, okay, so Vangus is like, he can't speak. He got injured in his throat, but he can't speak now, so I will do the speaking. Yeah, he's standing waving, okay. But I mean, he's obviously... I guess only Captain knows that he's obviously not... Uh... And really still like, wow, where's my Charmy? <laughs> so he's his personal slave now, yeah, because you know they dropped in there in the last fight, and yeah, for some reason he's stuck with him. Yeah, so Baha has become his personal, his personal bitch, yeah. Yeah, he's still stuck with him. Sure you. So of course the king can't tell different, but he's just a stupid guy, yeah. 
Everyone else probably knows this is a fake king. I mean, uh, it's captain. Because the king is an idiot. You can't say it's not Julius. <laughs> I'm really popular now. Yeah, oh man, he's just. Oh, the king. <laughs> Lots of words there, they don't know what <laughs> can I go home now? They're like, oh yeah, I'm so bored of this. <laughs> yeah, I mean it there. I was like, oh, can we leave? Okay, yeah, the Vegas is like, please make it short. Yeah, make it brief, man. I'm really still spacing out there. Why did he flee? Did he defeat him? Is he fled there? And Dorothy looks Dorothy looks super happy now. Her eyes are open. She's like, oh, he has these kind of super bright purple, purple teal eyes. <laughs> Fing him is yawning. He's like, oh my god, the king is so boring. Yeah, everyone really hates the king. Like, here comes his magic. So I guess the, the king has a kind of, you know, um, Yeah. I don't know if he can do anything. Maybe like solar flare people, like you know, on Dragon Ball, maybe he can do the solar flare. I don't know if he can do anything really properly with his magic. Like maybe he can, yeah, blind you or something. Oh, Yami, definitely. Like dark. Uh, okay, Yami and, <laughs> and yeah, the Reaper fighting. Because I guess there is fighting. They probably just fight because they're stupid. Like he's called me something like a name or. Oh, yes, yeah, you just fight because you're fighting. Right? There's, there's no reason for fighting. He's like, who is the best of us? Suddenly, at this place. So I'm betting you guys that Shaw's gonna be angry now. Shaw's like, Yummy! Yeah, he's gonna be like, Yeah, oh, you're late and you're fighting and yeah, you're embarrassing me. Yeah, he's gonna be angry, of course. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, fighting all ridiculous stuff. <laughs> it's his fault, yeah. Oh, no, he's gonna blame each other, yeah. Especially with the hat, it's pretty interesting. What's the guy with the, with like the white half the ribbon? It's pretty interesting. And it looks kind of like Rebecca from the back there, the character to the right there. I almost expect that character to be a, like an important character. With the white half, with the red. Yeah, it's very like specific. <laughs> My invincible. But I guess it's light magic in theory. Maybe it could be as strong as the... Um, as uh, Patol is one, maybe, right? If he had like trained with the man, maybe, I don't know. He's a, he's a three claw, right? But uh, if you see, I mean, I'm wondering if King is actually could be strong. I'm always weak, but I mean, if he could be strong if he was trained. And I mean, for him, it's more about he's just a horrible person, right? So he doesn't, he's never trained with it. Only learned to use this like big Buddha statue of himself, yeah. But I wonder if he actually could. Uh, yeah, fight if he actually did train and so on. Like, does he have that super high mana as the noble has? Because he's a king, right? Does, does he have really high mana? Maybe in theory he could be really strong, but of course. <laughs> okay, so yeah, it's like screw you, man. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it's like no, no, no. You're gonna stay as this guy's uh, slave. Isn't he yours? No, I never like pick. How did he join then? How did he join then? It's like I never picked that guy. It's like I will never choose him to be in my team. It's like. Uh, and Dort is like, okay, a lot of Dort is not super Genki now, yeah. A lot of keep having that super happy Dort. He's like, yay, <laughs> let's go. Okay, so Yami, of course, is like, why, Oven, what are you doing? Yeah. But Yami can also feel, of course, the key, the key right? So, of course, you can't click Yami, because Yami is like, I, he knows, you know, Julius Dana, right? Of course, he knows him very well. But here we go, they're like some kind of meeting here. This was from the preview. <laughs> and now Shaw is like, I'm next to Yami. Why, why are they here? It's like... And then Gwen Wells is like, why, why are we here? I don't want to be here. Yeah, I'm scared. Mm, there's Nero. Hmm. So is, is he used now? So we see Vangus now without the hat. Maybe he's like used to being... Oh, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm proud of my face now. Like he's... <laughs> and then is like, Yami! Yeah, this is the best part. Come on, this is the best part of the clover. When Yami... 
when she's like, stay calm, stay calm. <laughs> Your face is all red. Yeah, not even I, not even I. There's nothing. <gasps> yeah, it's like, oh no. <laughs> this is always the best part of it. You didn't take that up. How dare you? Yeah, me. Uh, this is the best part always. I was wrong. Of <laughs> course you're wrong, Chicago. <laughs> That's always the best part. Come on, it's always the best part when he's when the army and the shaws are getting on. Lisa, like, there is the number one. These cats are absolute morons. <laughs> are they always like this? Are they always as stupid? But, uh, you know, you, you hope that the army would know now. Since Asta was like, she really trusts you. I could tell. It's like Noel. <laughs> and Asta was like, you know, I can see through the sundriness. Yeah, it's like, what? <laughs> like, totally. So, yeah. Yeah, so Dort now is super ginky. Like, yeah. And he's <laughs> knocked out. <laughs> he's in love. He's in love with Charmy. Here we go. Donna. Okay, so the U is here. Ooh. The Amut's here. Is this still main story then? Maybe. But I guess this is probably gonna lead into the filler arc, right? He's probably gonna give us like a quest now to filler arc. Something like that. Hmm. We can discuss Megacula. Yeah. Maybe this is canon, but it's like super dragged out with all the jokes. Yeah, that's why they're there. But they were they hard king then, but I mean, if you're gonna discuss the Divin, shouldn't they bring like luck and so on? Weren't they the guys that actually saw him? <laughs> yeah, didn't like you know, the other guys that were the uh, Diamond King actually saw, probably saw me right? Yeah, so we're gonna recap the the stage thing. Yeah, Lord of Pashika. It's a hard name to say, Lord of Pashika. Obviously, the queen. Yeah, it definitely a lot of recap. Recapping this, I mean, is a problem filler, right? So to speak, because they're recapping what you saw. This happened like just a few episodes ago, right? So obviously, we're very aware of her, uh, her curse, so. Yeah, and then we have the yeah, this diamond king getting owned. Time skip. <laughs> what should we do? We should exercise and time skip this shit. Yeah, at least it's the training montage. Yeah, training. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta go to Yumi Everon. Yeah. Yeah, so we can ally with the heart. But shouldn't they also ally with Diamond, right? If Diamond people like Marsh and so on is an ally, right? Should they ally with the Diamond guys? Yeah, we got six, six months time skip. Everyone needs to level up. Yeah. <laughs> Just, they have to level up a lot. Yeah, no one feels very recap because he's showing when they went to Heart King and so on. Yeah. But it's kind of funny, always an anime, like we have to, oh, everyone has to level up now, right? Why, why didn't level up before this? They were like, oh, we were like level 3, but not can be level 1. Yeah, it's like, why would everyone be so much stronger for 6 months? Why would, why would they train before this, so to speak? You know, most of the people. Okay, it's gonna be non. It's gonna leave the capacity. Probably put a note in. Here we go. New mission. This is probably like filler mission. I was also an elf. Yes. Shards like I also been elf. Yes. And Kaiser too, yeah. I was also an elf. 
that's just, of course, Dora's like, I, I don't care at all. <laughs> yeah, of course, Dora is like, I don't matter. <laughs> I don't know. Well, come on. And of course, Dorothy is like, it's, just, it's, it's not my problem. Yeah, it's like, come on. Oh, she's so lovable. Yeah, it's like half the country is gonna be that thing. Exactly, if I punish everyone that was an elf, we're gonna lose like half the night strike. It's gonna be horrible. <laughs> but like I know what it was, it's completely... <laughs> She's like, ah, oh, whatever. <laughs> Come on. I didn't want to be an elf. Yeah, six month time skip. Talk about something on it. The king is very happy. We're going to beat him easily. Yeah, six months. Let I keep wondering why he didn't fight the elves more. Why didn't he use his scale magic against the elves? <laughs> like, his magic is pretty good against, you know, the, the the crime of the elves, yeah. But no, he was not, you know, the character yet. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's like, I'm gonna train, I'm gonna, I'm gonna train my men by fighting them, yeah. And Dorothy keeps being all happy. She's super happy now. She's so genki now. Ooh, all together. Training or everyone together. Mock battles. Terminal Dark? It's gonna be a Terminal Dark, maybe? It might be like a Terminal Dark. <laughs> it's like really still like, come on, really wake up. It's gonna come in now, then. Oh, what's this thing? This guy? Yeah, they captured him, I guess. Yeah. Hard, yeah. What happened to a shade guy then? What happened to his best friend? Exactly, what happened to his best bro? They're like, yeah, we both hit Asta! What happened to, uh, yeah, Ravshi? Yeah, what happened to his then? Yeah, you never learn. <laughs> Slice him up! <laughs> Slice him up! That's not good! Yeah, why? He's a, he's a money grabbing bad guy, yeah. He, he can stealth, he has stealth magic and he can buy stuff. Yeah, we keep using to rebuild the country, right? He, he says money grabbing. Yeah, we need the money. Okay, so they're gonna pardon the, the money grabbing guy because he might make money. <laughs> it's a different kind of pressure, yeah. <laughs> slice ham, man. You're gonna get slice ham. Okay, so maybe the orcs like, we have to go to dungeon, maybe. Yeah, it's like maybe it's in gold, right? Maybe go into a dungeon to get some, uh, <laughs> taking their money. Yum is like, no, but my gambling debts, I need the money. Okay, I don't want to see Bruce, okay, there And then like, of course. But Yami and Jack, we are like, no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, shut the up that. I need my money. Yeah, they want, they don't really have money debts, they have gambling debts. Yeah, to the example, they really need the money. <laughs> and really is like, what's happening? Everyone else is losing their hand. I'm just following the... Oh, poor Yami. We can't gamble as much anymore. <laughs> now they're back at the bar again. But the king usually is the bottom, yeah.
Yeah, he has money already. It's true, though. He's really rich. He's a noble guy. Yeah, it doesn't even matter for you. <laughs> oh, it's Vegas, it's man, right? Come on, Vegas, give me your salary. Because you're gonna gamble against him. <laughs> I think it's money. Here we go. You're gonna get revenge by taking Vegas money. He's probably gonna win, right? He's probably better gambling, though. And he has no clothes anymore. <laughs> because they took to the clothes, yeah. You treat me the same. Try to see, see. You still try to take my money. I respect that. <laughs> yeah, I like that. You still treat me. Yeah, you're just like a normal guy. You want to take my money away. Thank you, boys. Yeah, it's like. And of course, the bartender is, uh, is the King Julius, of course. This is last time, but same problem, right? Yeah. <laughs> but I like it's like you these are great nice to me. You keep treating me as nothing happened, yeah. <laughs> you still try to take all my money, I love that. Yeah, it's like yep. It's a very cute ending here of course now. Cute ending. Hmm. Yeah, I was wondering. I don't know. Like, I wonder if this is. A, I wonder if this is actually in manga, as you say. I wonder if this is like, like I'm a little unsure. I wonder if watching this thing. Like, is this filler? Like, is this in the manga? It felt somewhat meaningful there, but on the same time, it was a lot of recapping. It was a lot of like. But I'm thinking this maybe this is in the manga, but it is very padded out to be more jokes and. Okay, but now it's back to Noel fighting with Asta, the romance, and you know going home, and Noel being like Asta. And... Oh, and yeah, and... yeah, and sister and so on. But Noel being like Asta, don't touch me, or do touch me, but not like that, and yeah, and so on. Right, back to that stuff. So that feels very fiery. He's gonna go back home there. That's probably fiery. So anyway, let's do a quick review then. Um, so I don't know. Should I review the three episodes? I think I will. Typical review, you know, maybe I do one longer review if you review the whole arc and so on. Uh, this episode here, though, Hunt 30, I, I feel it was like, you know, nothing much happened, right? It was a comedy episode. Definitely felt like a typical, like, you know, comedy side storyline, right? Like a jokingly, uh, you know what I mean? Like, it's like a standalone comedy episode. Um, of course, best part is, okay, <laughs> it's clearly best part. The Dorothy is like, yeah, <laughs> constantly. And then I wrote a cat and he's like, you know, oh, they do this thing, right? Or they're doing, you know, the different kind of like hand. Yeah, she's like, <laughs> instead of, yeah, she's doing this stuff instead. But the other ones are kind of like, yeah, yes, yes, order. Uh, and I love the moment was when, when they are like, when Lord Kaiser and so on, they are like, oh, you know, it's, uh, you know, they feel a lot of guilt for being elf. And they feel like, oh, yeah, we... We really fail, we shouldn't be captains and all that. And Dorothy's like, I'm okay with it, it's not my problem, yay! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, shut up, Dorothy. Like, at least feel something. He's like, no! <laughs> she's just happy. She's just super Genki now, yeah. Yeah. She's just, you know, full on Genki. But I mean, that's kind of her personality, right? We saw it earlier, right? When she's not sleeping, she's actually super, super Genki, super energy, right? Yeah. Like we saw last time when she's like, and we saw Vanessa and uh, and uh, Sal like, uh, how old are you, Miss Dorothy? We should ask you that, but I really want to know. So it's like, I'm 27, perfect, not yet age. And they're like, oh, she's 27, oh, she's older than me? I couldn't think so, she's still like 15. <laughs> she's so, she's so, yeah, they're like, what? <laughs> so that was, 
I mean, so I love that. Love that Dorothy is super happy now. She's jumping around and full of energy. Um, otherwise, yeah, a lot of recap, right? Talking a lot about. Uh, I think it's always right. Any anime, whatever, right? It's a weakness to the anime when they're recapping what just happened, right? That's the problem, I think, with any kind of recap. It's finally recapping, like, this thing happened with, like, you know, Julius Dana, he stopped the, the, the light swords. Okay, fine, yeah. That was like third episode or whatever, more now, yeah. And uh, that's fine. But it's like, uh, these kids here, they went to the Heart Kingdom and met Lodo Pusheka, right? And it's like, yeah, it happened like two episodes ago. <laughs> yeah. So then they're recapping what we just saw, you know, what we saw like two, three weeks ago, yeah. That feels a little bit like, uh, you're really padding out the time, right? Because you're recapping very, something that there's no, no one with, you know, like a normal working human brain would forget that. You saw that, right? So that feels a little bit pretty slow. Um, Surely, um, but it could be worse, of course. It could be like in One Piece, but it's sort of recapping like Hawking Island that you saw it <laughs> at the river. Right? Yeah, there you can one whole episode recap of the use of sauce. So it could be worse, but um, oh man, that's that that's probably the worst feeder I've seen in my life, honestly. The One Piece feeders episode, I don't know, like 800, 7, 860, 900, something in there, when you started doing the whole uh, in the manga. One piece there, it's like a panel with Uda. It's like this happened, you know, at Alabasta. And it's like one panel explaining the Alabasta, like one spread Alabasta. And then, then it went all right. But in the anime there, there's like Alabasta, two episodes filler, <laughs> two episode recap, not even filler right there. That was the worst thing I've ever seen in my life, honestly, from a kind of filler standpoint, right? Because they didn't even, and that's obviously the word for the filler. Here in the McClough, at least, uh, you know, this is like joking, it's a little bit recap, talking about stuff. But mainly it's a comedy, Dorothy is funny, you know, Charlotte is like, Yeah, me, I mean, how are you stupid? Yeah, yeah, me, it's wrong. And yeah, they have some old, really like in love with Charmy. It's good for that, you know, the poking at the real, uh, even though it definitely has a feel, feel to it, where they have that poking him several times, right? In the manga, you know, the real part is ha happening probably once, right? But here it's like, boop, boop, boop. So yeah, it gets a little repetitive. I think that's the weakness problem here. That's some of the jokes. Uh, life with real life for example is happening three four times right instead of maybe like once so they have so they come up with the joke it's pretty funny but they can't yeah and it's like well this is the joke now so they, you use it all the time right um have you seen it early in back lower two in the filler episode in the beginning of the anime where it's kind of like he's gouch he's like his sister and they, and they don't you know they do that they do that joke over and over again right they keep doing that joke like five six times an episode right and Vanessa reads a lot, yeah. And they kind of have that going. So that's, 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 that's like I said, they are fortnight still, right? Like the comedy is funny, but it might be a little bit like, okay, now we, now we have done this joke. We have done this joke a few times now. It's getting a little repetitive, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and I feel they were really real there. I think we, I think we was really funny, but like the fourth time it happened, I was like, uh, you know, similar with Dorothy. Even, even though I like Dorothy, it's just really funny as a Genki Dorothy. Similar with her, like she just like, okay. Yeah, but the fifth time she's like, okay, let's leave. Yeah, yeah, like it's it's, it's, it's kind of funny because I think, I think she's hilarious, but it's it's a little bit like that too, right? They have, they have no, that's her joke. Yeah, she's super genki now. I mean, if you're gonna joke about that, you know, for like ten times, yeah, it, it gets a little bit like that, right? So that's the, the weakness of this episode, and you kind of feel that's like a filler comedy, right? When you kind of get, they have one or two jokes to go with, right? That they kind of just keep doing them over and over again, um, but at least something new, right? I was talking about too much here, but I, I viewed it last year, right? And damn, the One Piece thing, that was the worst filler in my life, as they were not even doing filler, right? They were just doing like recapping, yeah. They were like recapping for like 10 episodes or whatever in a row or more in the like, shortest arc in the manga. And they said, instead of recapping the freaking whole anime, they're recapping like at least 10 episodes in a row, ruining the manga. Like one minute new canon, 20 minute recap. Next episode, one new, you know, one new scene, right? Recap. So, <laughs> completely unwatchable. And again, it's recap. Instead of having an actual filler arc where they have some other adventure, right? With on an island. It's like, it's just, it's just recap history where it's seen. Such a bad, uh, that's the worst filler. It's, 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 it's like, I'll leave it at that, but I'll say one thing. It's like, it's, it was so bad, I wouldn't even almost call it filler. Because it's not even filling out. It's just like, go and watch this episode. So it's not even filler. It's basically someone saying, telling you that, here, we're gonna, you know, it's like, a, it's like a TV broadcast would be like, we couldn't do this episode today because the actor is sick or whatever. So instead of doing episode 130 of, you know, this late night or whatever, we're just gonna re, you know, re-broadcast an earlier episode. It's kind of like that, right? That was what they did in one piece. They didn't even do a filler. They didn't even do like a new joke. They were like, 
Here's an old episode. Put that in. <laughs> so here we talk about it's much better. Yeah. I feel a little recap there. Uh, you know, a little recap of like what's happened to Heart Kingdom and so on. But otherwise, it was, of course, much better. More comedy, more fun, right? Um, and next episode that we're going to see Sister Lily again. Some classic old like Noelle Asta, you know. And she's like, oh, Asta, cool. Yeah, that thing's happen. So it might be fun. I think after we go back to Sister Lily and so on. They're probably gonna do some main arc, right? What will happen? What I hope here, as talked about, would be really cool. Is of course a mock battle. Yeah, thinking about like the Fire Emblem, we have the mock battle in next Fire Emblem, right? The three houses, we have five. Yeah, like that would be really cool. Having all the characters, it's kind of like free for all. Well, not free for all, but like I mean, every team that is like you know the house, right? And they're fighting like ten against ten against ten against ten, right? So like ten different teams of ten, you know, so to speak. That would be really cool. So I hope that I hope it's gonna be mock battle. Was that and the good thing is that that from like an anime filler perspective, they don't really need to come up with something new, right? So to speak, just like they really hold all the characters, they have to come up with cool battle like this, but they don't have to come up with like new, you know, storylines. So it's like it's a story, they're fighting, yeah, but and then they have to come up with you know new abilities, combinations of magic, right? So that's like a good filler too, because they want because a, a problem with filler, you're normally you can't really you not know, do too much like you no know, main story. You can't be like, let's do this thing. Because that might be like a plot hole if that happens or this thing. But that might happen later in the manga, right? So um that so just doing a lot of battles would be cool, I think. Because there's a of course, there's a lot of characters that never interacted and it's a lot of power. So a mock battle tournament or like a mock battle free for all I guess. I think I prefer it's like a crazy long mock battle with everyone at the same time. That'd be cool. Like hundred battle yeah like, you know Fortnite style, yeah, kind of hundred characters in there. One last person to survive wins. Or I guess the thing they were most close to would be like Dragon Ball Super, right? Yeah, Dragon Ball Super. If you've seen, of course, the last arc of that anime, something like that, you know, every universe, one team each fighting on the same battle royale field. It's like the last person to win the stands. That would be really cool, having everyone combine the powers of the houses. Uh, that could see happening because again, then the anime doesn't have. To, you know, invent new stuff, you just have to like you know reinvent the different powers, so it would be nice. So, anyway, see you guys. That's the Black Clover review and reaction. Do the video here, a bit pretty long review anyway, <laughs> but I talked that much about this, whatever. I talked about all the animals, right? But it's but it also like you want to compare if you have to do film and so on. So, anyway, see you guys. Have a great day, and do some more F7 remake coming up soon on the channel.